What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Don't Strap, back with another YouTube video. You already know, like, I've been putting out videos to help you guys, but this video is really going to help you if you got a YouTube channel and you don't really know how to make thumbnails on your phone, but you want to learn how to. So, basically, look, I got you in this video. I'm finna show you guys on how to make the best-looking thumbnails possible on iPhone. <laughs> But the app, only the apps that you need is Fonto, which is free, and Superimpose X. Not Superimpose, Superimpose X, which costs about five to seven dollars on the app store. Damn! I just bought it yesterday, so this is why my thumbnails right now don't look like the ones that like I made previously. But watch, you'll see how they look by the end of this video. So um, basically, what you want to do is just start up a new session. And as you can see, I already got a picture. This is the same picture um, I'm finna use my in my thumbnail. I'm just finna make my thumbnail in this video for this video. So I'm going ahead and chose my picture or whatever. As you can see, I took it on Snap because you can see the little time or whatever. So what you want to do, you can see these little number at the bottom. I'm scrolling. Uh, what you want to do is go to 169. That is the YouTube. That is for you, you, the YouTube or whatever. So hold on. I'm just going to go back for you. So I click on the photo and I want to go to 16.9. When I go to 16.9, I can just scroll it whatever part I, I wanted to see and press the little check mark. Once I do that, I want to go to editor and go to tools and go to mo motion blur. This allows it to be blurry and like it's going in the direction at the same time. I like this and I recommend putting it like down like this. You don't have to. It's just how I like it to look or whatever. This is my personal opinion. It looks the best, but don't do it too much. Do it like a little bit. Um, so when you do that, you want to go to back, go back to layers and go to add layer at the bottom right. So I'm going to go add the picture again once I find it in my camera roll. Yes, I do. All right, right here. All right, check this out. Once I get the picture again, it, it, can, it can be any size, but just it really don't matter what size it is time. Just make sure it's enough where you can like actually cut yourself out. All right, so once it comes in, I want to zoom in because I'm finna cut it out. And once you get ready to cut it out and you already zoomed in and stuff, you want to go to mask and go to mask tool and click on the magic lasso. Not the regular one, the magic one. You'll know if it's the magic one if it has the three dots around the lasso. So I'm just gonna click around this and start cutting it out. I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, so once you're done with the picture or whatever, you, you since you, once you got the cut out and it looks like this, you wanna just put the little finishing touches on it. So what I'm finna do is go back to the mask and I'm gonna click on this little paintbrush tool or whatever. And I'm gonna make sure it's small because I don't want it like messing up stuff. So all right go back to that all right so i'm gonna go back to mask click on the tool and i'm gonna start erasing things but usually it's probably if it's too small for you you can kind of see it in this little zoomed in camera so i'll be back when i'm done doing this a few moments later all right it don't look too good but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna keep it like that because i don't want the video to be too long and i want to keep you guys waiting so once you get done with this, you just want to zoom back out. If you can go back to layers and you want to zoom back out. And once you zoom back out, go to transform and place the picture however you want to like on the thing. So I'm just going to place it on the left side. I just like putting the pictures on the left side, I guess. So I'm just going to place it on the left side. And once you do that, you want to go to editor, go all the way down to mask outline. Once you do this, you should have see a little white outline pop up around yourself or whatever that you cut out. And just press the check mark once you like choose how big you want to make it. Uh, just keep it right there for right now. All right, and once you do it, you wanna add another mask outline and put it black. I got this from a YouTuber named Simeon Williams. I'm gonna give him his credit just so you know I'm not stealing nothing. You go subscribe to him. This is where I got the tutorial from, so. Just gonna keep it like that check and what oh before you um save it you what you want to do is go to filter go to colors and go to saturation turn this up however much you want i like to turn it up a lot and go to contrast uh, don't turn it up too much but turn it up just enough so right there and once you do this go back to layers go to add layer 
photo layer and go to colors right here at the bottom so i'm gonna go to colors any color you want but i'm just gonna choose red right now so yeah all right and make sure it's the same size well it don't have to be so when you get the color layer or whatever it's gonna look just like this so what you want to do is go to transform and go to fit to base and once you fit to base you can see right here on the right it says blend i'm going to go all the way down to whatever one looks good for me but i personally recommend you use overlay because i mean that's really what it's for and once you use that you're probably looking at me like why is my body red how can you change it so if you if it turns your body red too what you want to do is go to the top right of your screen right under your battery and as you can see it lit up blue you want to click on that and drag the cutout of you on top of the red and as you can see it's not there no more so once you do all that all you want to do is save the image so i'm just waiting on this save all right but once you save it what you want to do is go to fonto this is when the fonto app comes in once you go to fonto you just want to go to photo albums and upload your image to the i already made a thumbnail for this video but i decided now i'm just gonna make another one so yeah i'm just gonna add the photo in here and if you want to download fonts go to thefont.com and just download them it should like show you how to do it on the app though so i'm just gonna type in how wait how to make all right that's gonna be like my first line all right Hold up. how to make all right i'm gonna add another text thumbnails on all right size i'm gonna size it down so it can fit hold up, hold up, hold up. all right that's that should be good right there i guess i'm gonna change it though thumbnails on iphone or android it really don't matter but i prefer iphone because you're you know yes all right so once you do that you want to make sure you size them up however you want it to be it really doesn't matter at this point just like make it customize it how you want it it's your thumbnail your video it really doesn't matter as long as it looks good and it gets clicked so to um, edit the like the, the words or whatever on your video just go to style text um it really don't matter this is what you just use your creativeness i guess just use what you want so i'm just going to use the natural white text with the black stroke and i'm gonna click on the black stroke and the width right here is how big like the stroke is gonna be so i'm probably gonna i like to keep it around 10 so yeah i'm just gonna keep it on 10 right there and i gotta size it down to make it all fit all right it's good right there thumbnails style do the same thing with this one make the taste white the stroke black and put it around 10 right there all right and this one is good and finally i want to use this one but i'm gonna do this one a little different because i want it to pop since it's like the whole point of the video or it's gonna make it stand out from most other ones i want i want it to be black and the stroke be white all right and you already know put it around 10 and there you go you can use another fun if you want i make a like another video with another fun and you'll see but this right here i'm just using this fun because this is what i already have but i have others so yeah but look i'm gonna change the size because i want it to be like close up right there all right so once you do that you can add little emojis or whatever like hmm i can i just put this emoji because it's red i'm gonna size it down so it can fit all right and i'm gonna put a fire emoji because you already know it. it's a banger my guy simple all right so I got a little fire emoji. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make, uh, hold up. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the little, nah, I'm gonna put the iPhone symbol. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty nice thumbnail. So that's really been the end of this tour, you. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends who are up and coming YouTubers. And yeah, that's really the end of the video. But the last thing I wanna tell you guys how to save it, just click on that the little paper thing with the arrow going up and go to save image. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and peace. I'm out.